Okay, here's take three on this particular project. Since I can't run the SLI, I went ahead and I changed to a more sane video card. I don't think, I think there's probably something wrong with those two cards up there. I think they're, they're broken in some way. Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, anyway, since that didn't work, and my little foray into SLI really didn't work out. Let's try having a foray into something else. That's overclocking. Let's see what this thing will do. Oops. I think my DVI adapter is messed up. Yeah, I think I really messed it up. Give me a minute here. Okay. I wouldn't say it's fixed, but whatever. Let's just do the AI overclock for now. I'll fix that later. Let's see what happens if we push it 10% over. Does it still pose? I don't know if I want to push it much harder than that. Well, we get that far at least. Did we get any farther? black screen. So maybe that doesn't work quite so well. Yeah, it doesn't work quite so well, does it? At least there's a reset switch. It's probably the RAM more than anything else that's holding it back. I also switched to a PS2 keyboard because apparently the USB emulation on this board is messed up. In some very creative ways. Okay, so let's, instead of 10%, let's maybe go, let's go for a 5% overclock. It's at least a little bit less. Okay, that's a little more promising. 100 megahertz. Not much of an overclock, but it's an overclock. I forgot to plug in the floppy drive dock on it. So that's why it's paused here. It's trying to read off the floppy, which doesn't exist. I wonder if that will improve the performance score any. If I can at least get my 5.0 on the CPU back. Looks like the driver's not loaded. I have to do something about that. Okay. Dare I jinx it by saying it, but so far it seems to be running much better. Not sure why my ethernet was knocked out earlier, but now it's working. Go figure. I want to deal with my ethernet switches over here because they kind of messed up. I don't know what happened. Don't know why they won't sit there, it's kind of ridiculous to be honest with you, but uh, let's go ahead here and rerun our Windows Experience Index benchmark. And see. What we score this time. Okay, this system is doing some weird stuff. I'm starting to wonder that the SSD has some problems. Because it's already crashed once on me for reasons I don't quite understand. Um, so, I really, I don't know. That seems kind of strange. Um, but, uh, I may try replacing that SSD and seeing where I go from there. But, uh, like I said, it's crashed on me once with a machine check exception, which I... I don't think it's an NMI, but I think it's, like, the next worst thing to an NMI. Um, like, if the NMI trips, there's a real problem. I'm going to see something here really quick. Let's try wiggling this RAM and see what it does. If the system crashes, or... Aha! I think I found it. Because I just lost it. See that? 
think I figured it out. Okay. So let me turn this off and replace that RAM then. And as you can see, yet another motherboard change. I don't know. I really don't know what to tell you. But every time I would go into something that would in try to enumerate any kind of hardware on the system, it would crash with a machine check exception. Which, I don't know what the relation between that, if there is even a relation between that and a non-maskable interrupt is, but I have to think that the two are fairly close. Because, I don't, I don't know, I really don't understand what it is with these Asus motherboards and having weird problems like that. I'm starting to wonder, actually, to be honest with you, if the problem is actually this SSD down here. But, this actually does have the Athlon 64 4200 Plus CPU on it. So, we'll give this one a try, just using the onboard video for now. This is an Asus A8M2N-LA. It's an HP OEM machine. And I'm probably going to have to do something about that system fan issue. So we'll try starting Windows normally. Let's see if it poops all over itself trying to load on this hardware. It does. Huh. It's an NVIDIA chipset and it still won't load. That's amazing. So I'm going to have to reinstall Windows anyway.